here's a shot inside the radio frequency vacuum kiln chamber. Thought I'd give you a little glimpse as I was cleaning it out. Now it has a hydraulic press on the top, up there, which comes down and pushes on the wood. We have some condensing coils on either side, which cold water is flowing through, which the vapor out of the wood floats around, lands on the tubing, and then condenses back to water, then drains down the floor, and it has a tube at the back corner here, which the vacuum pump then sucks that out. It also sucks out the water vapor during that time. Here is where the kiln cart gets its positive to heat the wood. If I turn like this, you can see the wood about to come in, the positive and negative plates together, and I'm gonna roll it in now. Go. So here we are, 66 hours into the load, heating time. 680 kilograms of water removed which equals liters so and it's a bit more than that I'm currently releasing the vacuum and I'm gonna open the door just to have a look at the ends I'm not gonna actually remove the whole pack uh, but we're able to pretty quickly release the vacuum open the door have a look see what's going on so we're very close now here's the manual valve on the back of the machine letting back in the atmosphere so here it shows the temperature of the wood as well as the KPA of the chamber. Once the vacuum is fully released, this number will show about 100. Here we can hear the final vacuum releasing. And now we'll open it up. So I've just taken a load out of my vacuum kiln after 9 days. We had some larch in there, softwood. We had this short elm log. We had 16 and a half foot by about 26, 30 inch wide green ash, fresh cut. It was a tree about two weeks ago. And we have a bowl of walnut. It was air drying. Here's the engine of the ash, minimal, minimal degrade, two checks in it. I'm using a Wagner pinless moisture meter set to 0 0.60 on the density. And we can do some checking here. In vacuum kilning, you'll actually notice it's drier to the inside of the wood. So after 10 days in the vacuum kiln, perfectly flat and perfectly dry.